Hi, it's Mona. Would you like to add embossed texture to your cute cards? Today, I will guide you through a creative dry embossing technique using stencils. Start with a 6x6 piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock. Tape your chosen stencil onto the cardstock. Then mix the entire cardstock with water, both the front and back. And dab off excess water with a paper towel. After this, fold the stencil over the cardstock. Then place the embossing mat on your die cut machine's platform and put the prepared cardstock and stencil sandwich on the mat with the stencil facing up. Cover it with the embossing plate and run it through your die cut machine back and forth. Then carefully remove the stencil and let the cardstock dry to reveal the beautiful embossed texture. Finally, let it dry. After the embossed cardstock has completely dried, Attach the second stencil from the set to the cardstock. Using Tombow markers or other mediums, color the hearts and dots on the areas where the embossing has not been applied. This step beautifully complements the embossed texture, creating a vibrant contrast. When the coloring part was done, I added highlights with white Posca pen and I also added a few details with colored pencils, just for fun. Next, I stamp using the Lanfan Porcupine for you special delivery and the old gnome stamps with jet black ink on Bristol smooth cardstock using my Misty. Before the coloring, I heat set them with heat gun to prevent the ink smearing. I connected the quills with a marker. After this, I colored this adorable flower with brown, yellow and green. Then I colored each porcupine quill in different hues to make it playful. Once the coloring is complete, I let the cardstock dry. Until then, I create a thick die cut with the Scripty Hello die. I cut one piece from the Sparkle Craft cardstock and two more from White Heavyweight cardstock, and I adder them together. The following step is the sentiment. 
I stamped the love you lot sentiment using the magic hearts messages stamp set on a piece of strawberry cardstock with watermark ink. Then I sprinkle on it with white embossing powder and heat set it with my heat gun. I cut the dry embossed background into a square of 4.5 by 4.5 inches and back it with a pink tutu cardstock. In the end, I put my card together with 3D foam square adhesives to add a bit of dimension to it. The result is a simple yet colorful card that is ensured to bring joy. Thanks for watching. Bye.